So how does my day start out other than somebody singing in the background? So this is how work starts in my business. Every morning it's the same thing from shop to shop. And guys ask me what does my business involve a typical day? Well I can't video all day but I'll take you by how I started out this morning. I have a recovery here because we have damage here. Then as we go through, see when they take apart the a front end like this and they gotta take it all apart, you remove the refrigerant, you remove the condenser. You have damage because of damaged lines or anything like that, you gotta remove the refrigerant so they can replace any bent or damaged lines. What do we have over here? Uh, front end. Sometimes if they get hit hard enough here and they bend the support and the refrigerant lines from the condenser come through the core support and go over, they got to take the sheet metal apart. So once this comes apart, I would have to take out the refrigerant, they remove the lines and replace them after a fix up there. You have something like this, another front end, they got to take that apart, then the refrigerant would have to come out. Front-end accidents are some of your most uh, common accidents on cars. And what do front-end accidents all have in common, especially if they're hit hard enough? They go up and they damage a condenser or they damage some of the lines that come out of the side and you have to do the air conditioning. And unlike the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, you get a little front-end whack here and you bend to see this long tube going down here, you get it hit, it bends the receiver dryer. See these lines all here? The li lines come out of here. If it gets hit and the lines are going through the sheet metal, you gotta pull, pull out all the refrigerant to replace them. So in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, air conditioning was an option. And not many vehicles have it, say about 30% of vehicles. But now, in 2090s and 2020s, especially the 20s, nearly 100% of all vehicles have air conditioning. And in a lifetime of a vehicle, a big majority of them will be in a front-end accident. And some of them, if they're owned by certain people, will be in multiple front-end accidents because they like to tailgate and look at their phone. And so you have all these vehicles with air conditioning, not one of these vehicles do not have air conditioning. And look at this, you just hit right here and you bust this line or bend it, it's getting replaced. So what I'm getting called to recover right here, front end smash, smashing the lines, the refrigerant lines get smashed over. I got to recover the AC for them to pull the lines up to do repairs and replace the parts. Here we got a little more complicated. Here's a heat pump. This is a heat pump. Take a look at that assembly. Remember the Prius Prime? Okay, so this is, is this Audi's? Yeah, this is Audi's. The Audi, Volkswagen, they look the same. They're miles of hoses and tubes. Take a really, really, really close look at this. It gets hit a little bit here. There goes about $2,000 in damage just right there in the bumper when it gets hit hard enough. Look at this line right here, and it goes right behind here. You get a little hit here, boom, air conditioning. So no matter what, I always have work. In this industry, the future of cars is thermal management. Because as we go to more hybrids and more electric vehicles, there's gonna be more lines, more heat exchangers. Um, you'll have plate heat, you, there's plate heat exchangers that get damaged and they have an extra expansion valve in them. And if that plate heat exchanger gets hit or tapped, even if it didn't hit the lines here or the condenser over there, but they have a plate heat exchanger down here, they put a plate heat exchanger over here, some lines, every front end is like automatic AC job all the time because air conditioning is no longer an option, especially when it comes to electric cars and hybrids. So this industry in heating and air conditioning is just like a no brainer. So how can you be, go out of business in this business? 
If you're into heating and air conditioning or commercial refrigeration business, it's like, you know, manna falling from heaven. No matter what vehicle you go to, it's just guaranteed. 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 Okay, that is what this industry is like. In every shop, in every city, in every town, in every state, throughout the whole country, it's guaranteed because air conditioning is no longer an option. All right, guys, I'll see you. And this is just a quick overview of what my day is going to look like, busting my ass. All right, see ya. I won't sweat too hard or get grease under my fingernails, I hope. Get those little gloves on.